Hello Virgo, this is Dawn Priolette and I am here to do your monthly Love Tarot reading. And you have some interesting cards and I've gotten some interesting insights for you, Virgo. Obviously this is a general reading. Um, so if you have further questions, you can hit the link below because I do have a special a reading special for the month of, month of March that you can take advantage of. But I'm going to dive right in here because the first card you had up was the Ace of Swords in reverse. Now, I'm going to read this the way I read this because I'm different from other readers. I work with the chakras. And so one of the things that came up for me when, when I saw this in reverse is the first chakra. Okay. Now, normally when it's upright, I see this as, you know, a new beginning. Okay. So it came up in the reverse. In this position in the reverse, um, I'm, I'm feeling that this is some confusion and the confusion comes in for all, and this, this is really for all of us, not just Virgos, but this is really pertinent to you right now. A lot of our confusion comes in because at the first chakra, we have the programming that comes from our family about what relationships are supposed to look like. Okay. You have programming that you had no choice about that started happening even when you were still in the womb. Um, and so this card is really telling you to get more clear about what it is you want versus how much of, of what you think you want because, or what you think is possible based on what your parents had. You know, if you come from a family where there was a divorce when you were very, very young, for example, you may have fears about getting married, about getting into a long-term relationship with anyone because you know, for you, especially to go through a divorce when you are, are very, very young and to see your parents divorce, um, it, it's often catastrophic for children. It, it's, it's very traumatic for children to go through that because children automatically blame themselves for everything that's going on around them, including their parents' divorce sometimes. Okay. So I'm just, um, I'm actually going a little bit more into this than what I had wanted to, but this is what I'm getting is check what it is that you really, really want and try to, um, and this is what I do working with clients is that I help them use tapping to let go of all of this programming so that you then have the power to choose your own destiny rather than simply unconsciously living out your parents' paradigms about money, about love, about their health. Okay. So this is telling you to get clear, um, let go of, of the family paradigm, that programming, because that is what is actually influencing you more than anything from the unconscious which by the way is 97% of your brain is unconscious. Okay. So that's huge, huge, huge stuff. Now the next two cards that came up, there's two because they were stuck together. So I took them both. Now the high priestess in reverse, this is saying, um, you're, you are cutting yourself at times off from your intuition. You know, you are too much in your head. You're a Virgo. I know you're ruled by Mercury, just like Gemini is. 
we tend to be up in our heads a lot, okay? But you're cutting yourself off from your intuition. So um, what I'm getting is just make sure, you know, dance. Um, do something that brings you back into your body. EFT tapping will bring you back into your body. So watch some of my videos about EFT tapping, okay? Um, and at the same time, you have the sun. So it looks like you are going to be moving into happier times and hopefully coming out of that confuse, confusing place. For some of you, I'm even feeling that um, you may actually be moving to a warmer climate or taking a vacation in a warmer climate. Maybe going, you know, who knows, maybe it's a long distance relationship with someone who lives in a warmer climate and you're going to meet them. Um, also, when I see this card, you see there's there's this little child, and this could also represent your inner child, like you, your inner child coming out to play more, you know? So that, and that is very good advice, you know, for you to come out and play more. And because when you do that, you know, children are very much in their bodies. They're very, very intuitive. And they just do what brings them joy. They listen to their body. And uh, so that is what I'm getting with these two, the combination of these two together. Now the outcome, again, this is, you know, Ten of Pentacles. This has to do with the, the family legacy. Um, it's a very, it's a good card, but just remember um, that no matter what was going on in your family with your parents, um, if they were alcoholics, uh, drug addicts, whatever was going on, whatever kind of crazy stuff was going on in your childhood, you can, and it, and it is the life purpose of all of us to outgrow the consciousness of our parents, to expand out beyond the consciousness of our parents, okay? And you may be the first person in your family to do so. So again, coming back to what is it that you really want? Not what your parent, what you think is possible based on what you saw your parents go through. But what do you really, really want? And asking the universe, universe, what would it take for me to expand into the energy, into the version of me that could actually attract this kind of relationship? Because that's what I want to help you to achieve, is helping you become the version of you energetically, who would be capable of attracting a quote unquote soulmate type of union. Okay. But it, it means you got to let go of what no longer works for you. Um, the family stuff is family stuff. When you let go of all of that, now you get to choose with consciousness attached not just you know because otherwise you're just operating from programming that was just handed down to you you never had a choice in that so I'm saying make it a conscious choice now and um, and get the help to do that because it's really worth it now for your angel cards here we go spiritual growth that was the first card I chose and this is what I'm encouraging you, Virgo, to do. Your focus should be on spiritual growth in terms of your relationship. Because guess what? Damaged people attract damaged partners. So to whatever extent you have not come beyond or have not been able to heal your childhood wounds, 
um, that's going to determine the kind of partner that you attract. And there is no other way but through, you know, by elevating yourself consciously, um, that is the way to have a soulmate relationship. Um, next, I had um, Archangel Michael cutting. I, I always think of with him helping you to cut the ties with the past and, and the negative things that have happened to you in the past. Again, it goes back to your baggage, whatever baggage you brought in so that you can advance um, consciously. And ideas and inspiration. So all everything that you need, whoever you need to attract, whatever information you need to move you forward. Lots of ideas and inspiration are available to you. Okay. Virgo, that was excellent, excellent reading. But you're ready. You are ready for that spiritual growth. This is the time. Okay. Um, again, my name is Dawn Priolette. Please subscribe to my channel. And thank you for those of you who have ordered readings with me. Um, I really do appreciate your support. And I'm going to leave a link below so that you can take advantage of my sale on the private readings this month, Virgo. So until next time, ma salama, which means peace be upon you. Um, go with peace and ciao for now.